fear the most when considering your daughter studying abroad? I suppose my first fear as a mother would be that the change in culture and language would be a tremendous challenge for her and how is she going to cope in a country that she couldn't speak the language and how is she going to manage on a day-to-day -day basis with just simple everyday living and so far what you've shown us has certainly answered all of that, I have no concerns at all. Okay, so thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Um, what impression of the university and student accommodation did you get? Uh, the uh, student accommodation, first of all, very impressed with the student accommodation. Clean, tidy, neat, sufficient, and efficient. For impressed, very impressed by the size of the class to, to instructor ratio. Um, that will be ten times that at home in Ireland. You know I mean? uh, the, the class size is simply um, in the six to thirty bracket, which is extremely good for, for learning and gives everybody. Uh, 100% opportunity to get the maximum of the course. Okay, thank you very much. So, future doctor, now <laughs> you met university staff and I wish current students. How do you feel now about joining Collegium Medicum in Bedgosh? When can I start? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm very, very happy. It answered all of my questions. Everyone's been very, very helpful and yeah, it seems like a great place to study. Yeah, I'd start tomorrow if I could. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, so, Martina, some of Medical Point students come to Collegium Medicum to study with their friends and relatives. Uh, would you consider encouraging your friends, uh, their children, to do the same? Yes, I would. Based on what I've seen so far, I certainly would. I know there's a huge element that's individual and that it's not for everybody that some people are very much, you know, they're incubated and they don't want to travel outside of their own country. But I think there's a great opportunity for a lot of children, if particularly our daughter's case was she was boarding with many other different nationalities of students, and so her, her, her mind is much broader in that respect. It's only two hours of a flight, uh, it's 15 minutes or 20 minutes of a transfer, and to help and assistance is literally holding of hands here. And I certainly would have no qualms about her, you know, recommending it to any friends or people that I actually was discussing this weekend with after we've gone home, so it's fantastic. Perfect. The last question, Martina. Sure. Are you ready to let your daughter study with Medical Poland in Bydgoszcz? I would and love her. <laughs> this would be an answer for a dream for her. And she's all she eats, drinks and sleeps medical programs and books, and it would be a fantastic opportunity. I'd love her to get a place on her course, and I would be more than happy to see her come over here. I was the one that, I was the one that needed the convincing, <laughs> but I'd have to say, uh, I've, uh, I've turned my head. I, I would be happy to see her come here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely, yeah. So will you be visiting uh, your daughter often? I would say that we, uh, if she's lucky enough to get a place here, I would certainly see us spending it. A lot more time in Poland than we have been here yeah. before, anyway. Yeah. I would definitely see that the course um, is very committed. Uh, it is very much like an, an overworked businessman and woman, and it's not just you're left to swim yourself and survive. There's very much a hand holding here, and I would definitely say that it's definitely us coming to her rather than her coming home. It's not like college hours in Ireland, in my opinion, and as a result, she's going to need to see us coming to her rather than her coming home to us. It's definitely that committed of a course, and I applaud you for that. Thank you very much.